Hi, everybody. Welcome to the official Bill Superville Wallace YouTube channel. This time, we're going to work some flexibility. Everybody wants to be, become more flexible. In any sport that you have, we want flexibility. We want to be loose, relaxed. And understand this, we want to teach those muscles to relax. Think about the three T's. The first T is temperature. Warm the muscle up so it's pliable, so it's easy to move around. Number two, put tension on that muscle. So we want that muscle to be able to relax and also, to use the term loosely, stretch out a little bit. We don't really stretch it, we teach it to relax. And the third and probably most important one is hold that tense position for a length of time. Now it relaxes in that position and it basically says to itself, basically says to itself hey, this doesn't hurt, I'll just relax. That's where we get our flexibility. But before we do that, what I want you to understand is we're tonight, today, tomorrow, whatever it is, we're working the hamstring, the bicep femoris, the back of the leg. It's attached to your hip joint and also attached to your fibula and tibia below the knee. So what we're going to do now is relax that muscle, teach different ways of doing it. First of all, let's get the heart pumping a little bit. So hands on your hips, big circles, big circles. Any movement gets the heart pumping. The reason we want the heart pump is our muscles contract maybe that much, maybe, maybe not even that much. So we need those muscles warm. We need blood flow in those muscles. How do we get the blood flow in those muscles? The heart rate speeds up. The heart pumps nice, fresh, re warm blood into those muscles. So from here, just circle the hips. We're working that hip joint now a little bit. So we just kind of work that a little bit. Reverse it a little bit. Good. If you worked with me before on my Wallace's Wednesday and, and seminars with me, we do this all the time to keep the hip joint relaxed. Hands on your lower back, push those hips forward. Now we're kind of relaxing the top head of the quadricep, the iliosoleus and the sartorius, right here. Keep tension on that muscle. Hold it for the count of 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now circle a little bit more just to keep it relaxed. Keep it relaxed. Reverse it, go the other way. And reverse it again. Good, 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 good. And reverse it one more time. Nice and easy. Everybody can do this. Just a little bit. Hands on your lower back. Push those hips forward. Hold it for ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Good. Circle a couple more times. Now, if you'll check your heart rate, it's speeded up a little bit. So it's pumping nice, fresh blood into that muscle. Working the hamstring, the biceps for Morris. Right back here. By means two. So there's two muscles in that in that muscle group. Easiest way to work it. Put your feet about double about shoulder width apart. Excuse me, about shoulder width apart. Toes are slightly inward. Put your hand on top of your knees. Now keep your head up so your lower back stays straight. Not this, don't hunch over, but keep your back straight. So with me, hands on top of the knees, throw the slide inward, slide down your shin to your ankles. Keep your eyes on the floor. Now you should feel a little bit of tension here. So now we have the temperature up, now we're having the tension. Now we're gonna hold it for a length of time. Nice and easy, because this is a tip, we're gonna hold it for the count of 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now stay there, stay there. Now put your knuckles on top of your toes. You notice my body's come down just a little bit, keeping that tension. Hold it for the count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stay there, stay there. Now put your knuckles on the floor. You notice my upper body came down a little bit. My eyes are still on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now grab your ankles. You're going to pull your head to the floor. It won't reach, so don't try to make it, okay? Grab your ankles again. Pull down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. A little lower. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put your hands on the floor. Push your legs about double shoulder width apart. Not much wider than that. 
We don't want, we want to stretch the hamstrings, not the lower back, okay? Hands on, hands on your ankles, please. Pull your head down. Just a little bit. Hold it for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Head your left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right leg, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now back and forth. Left and right. And left and right. And left and right. You know we're not bouncing. Left and right. Two more. Left and right. And left and right. Good. Hands on the floor. Feet close together. Hands on top of your knees and push up. Get the blood out of your head. Why push up? Why do I push with my hands? Well, remember, if I'm here and I'm bent over and I come up like this, what just happened? I just tightened up the muscle group that I'm trying to work the flexibility with. I tightened up the hamstring group. Why? Because they can track to pick me up. Think about that. Work it easy. Three sets, five sets. If you have the time, six or seven or eight sets. But teach that muscle to relax. Remember, temperature, get the muscle warmed up. Tension, put a certain amount of tension on it. Not the pain. Don't take it to pain. Put tension on the muscle. And hold that tense position for a length of time. You'll get it.